Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my friends all across a happy little globe today, and welcome back to another episode of the Mod Showcase. So, I'm just going to break it to you guys right now. We have a lot of awesome mods this week. Uh, we have a lot of fish, do keep that in mind. So, if you guys don't want to check out the fish, just skip to the other half of the video. We have all your land lovers right over there. Uh, before we get started though, I do want to say mods are not officially endorsed by Frontier, do keep that in mind. When you do choose to mod your game, you are modding at your own risk, but I just released a recent tutorial that pretty much clearly goes through everything that you probably need to know when you do mods, so do consult that before you actually do get, like, you know, your feet wet and all this. How I get it? Because we have a lot of water in here. Um, we're not using tanks back there, we have our own little tanks over here this week. Uh, before we even get started with the actual showcase, I do want to say that most of these mods, in fact, I think almost all of them, use Axie. So if you guys aren't already familiar, Axie is essentially a tool that modders and mod users can essentially use, and it allows us to do a lot better things, such as a lot more optimized mods, helps your game run a lot better, makes it incredibly stabler. Uh, and yeah, it's just a really awesome program. Helps us release so many fish in just a single setting, as you guys probably saw on Nexus this week. So I do want to say welcome everyone, and we're just going to get started. I don't even use the signs in here. We're just going to jump right in here. So we do have a lot of fish, and I kind of split them up via wherever they're from. So we have a lot of catfish. We have like a lot of free-flowing fish and all stuff like that, but we're just going to get started with whatever we see pop on our list over here. Here is a common pleco. I do recall that this skin was made by Jen and it's so cool. If you guys aren't familiar, these guys are probably your very typical sucker fish that you get in your fish tanks and they can actually grow up to be a foot long or even longer in some cases. These guys are wicked cool. I could definitely see a lot of you guys using these in larger tanks, be it for hippos, be it for manatees, that would be a really awesome way to use these guys organically within a zoo. Or even if you're doing like full on aquariums like this, this is a really awesome thing to use. And look at this guy that just passed right by. These are the tiger sorb and catfish. And these guys are beautiful, called so because of the beautiful marbling on their skin over there. And they're just really cool. Do keep in mind that everything that you see moving along this like ground down here uses a pygmy hippo. So unfortunately, they don't really have as good swimming animations as the other fish do, but it's still a really awesome way to give some dynamic action to your tank because just having stuff float up on the top, in the middle, and on the bottom really does help to create this compelling area. Uh, what else we have in here? This is Oscillated River Ray. These guys are incredibly beautiful. They have this beautiful, like, kind of polka dot pattern, and they're just really freaking cool. I love the stingrays on the Pygmy Hippo because sometimes they just stop out of nowhere and they work incredibly well. Let's just wait for them to, like, kind of do that. But either way, they kind of do just, like, trot along this floor of the ground, and it's just really, really awesome. What else we have? I believe we have another catfish in here. Yes. This is a ripsaw catfish, and these guys look badass. These guys are all found in South America, by the way. I don't know if I said that or not yet, but they're just really cool. They have all these spikes on their body, and they're just really, really awesome. And they have such beautiful texture as well. Uh, Buff Zoo worked with me to get all of these in the game. Uh, Jen helped with the Pleco, obviously, but these guys are all ported from various different fishing games. Uh, be it, I think, um... Fishing Planet is one of the ones that we tend to use a lot, as well as like Fishing Simulator 2 and stuff like that. It's just really awesome to have all these on hand for all these wonderful fish, especially the electric eel. Look at this little guy. Obviously, you guys know the electric eel is not really a species of eel, but it's actually more so related to knife fish. These guys have the capacity to actually go and produce electricity, which is a really, really amazing thing to see, especially in fish. I feel like we don't really see that too often. Uh, when's the next an a a like Planet Earth update coming out where we actually do get more electric animals? Come on. I want this to be kind of like Pokemon, you know? Uh, so those guys are really awesome. I just love how well they look. Um, I love how they kind of float above the surface unlike the other ones because it does make it feel like they're swimming a little bit better. I don't know. It's just very cool to see all of that happen. 
Now, what else we have in this tank? We'll check out the Arowana. So this is a silver Arowana. You guys may remember that one of the first fish mods released was the Asian Arowana, but these guys are found in South America and they're wicked beautiful. I love when they do like the short burst of swimming because it looks so insane with their tail movement. Like there it goes. And you guys may notice that they have bubbles coming off of them. So originally before Axie, all modded fish would not have bubbles kind of like radiate off of them. But with Axie, we do now have the ability to give them that. And it's just so awesome. It makes the tanks feel so much more dynamic. And it's just really awesome to have. The same with the peacock bass. This is a butterfly peacock bass. These guys are incredibly beautiful and kept among like the aquarium trade. They have this beautiful coloration of like bright greens, bright reds, bright oranges and such like that with these beautiful black stripes along the side. And they're just incredible, incredible species to have, especially in aquariums, because these guys are going to be your probably bread and butter when it comes to Amazon tanks. Uh, the last one we actually have in here is a marble pike cichlid, all the, also otherwise known as a jacunda. These guys are not very well known about, which is very surprising because they look so beautiful. These guys are related to the butterfly peacock bass, but these guys have their own genus with over like 93, 94, I want to say, uh, different species in there. And just it just goes to show the extreme biodiversity of the Amazon and South America. It's incredible to see it. And they also move incredibly well. So we got to give some major props, major love to Buff Zoo for all the work that he does with these. I know the fish mods aren't everyone's cup of tea, but it's just really awesome that Buff Zoo and I, as well as so many other awesome modders, are working to create such a wonderful representation of aquatic wildlife. Now, moving on through here, that is pretty much actually all we have for the aquatics in South America. So we're actually going to move over to Africa. This is going to be wicked fun. So I do believe this is a combo catfish. We're just going to get this guy out of the way. I think it's like the second largest catfish in Africa. Um, I'm actually going to go over here so I can probably actually select them. So yeah, that is the combo catfish. And they're just really cool. But what I love even more is the Vundu catfish. These guys are the largest catfish found in Africa. And I think that's very, very swell. They're beautiful. And I don't know, I just really do like these guys. What's not to like? They look insane. I don't know, I just really do like them. You guys should see like some of the pictures of like the hauls that come, some people get with these guys. It really is insane to see. Adding to that, we also have the giraffe catfish. These guys are relatively tiny compared to the others, but these guys are so freaking cool. They have these ugly little faces, which I think give them so much personality. At first I thought they were ugly, but once I actually coded these guys and actually learned a lot more about them, uh, it's just really amazing just to see the variety of creatures that we now have in the game. And I will say, Buff Zoo did add a cheeky little element to these guys' species enrichment, inner species enrichment, sorry. So definitely do check that out in the latest version of the mod. I do gotta say, these are all the original versions of the mods Buff Zoo went in, and he made sure to give them accurate sizes. So if you did download them before he updated them, definitely go re-download them because he does such an amazing job with keeping them all up to date. Now, what else do we have in here? Africa is home to so many different cool creatures, and one that really surprised me is the Nile Perch. Now, this guy really didn't seem like much at first, but they could actually get huge. These guys could get up to five feet, maybe even sometimes six feet long, and that's just insane to see when it comes to fish like this, because you look at this guy, and you're like, hi, he's probably like big, but like not that big, but no, these guys are monsters. There's some really cool images of them on Google, if you do look them up, of some monster catches that people have gotten with them. There they go clipping into each other, that's kind of cute. Uh, but they really are so freaking cool, as well as a goliath tiger fish. Yeah, so these guys are menacing. Let's actually pause it so we could take a better look at that snout and look at these guys. They have the scariest teeth ever. These guys are wicked, wicked beautiful. They have this beautiful like strike of red on the tail, which I think gives so much personality to them. They also have like 
oh, you know, you like your silvers and they have like this bronze thing going on over there. They're just really creepy animals and I really do love them. So we got to give all the love to Buff Zoo for doing all the work for these guys because it really is amazing to see. Now moving on through here, we're going to some more familiar waters to me. We're going to take a little stop in America. Now we have a lot of good American fish. And before we actually get into that, I do want to show off just how well you can make aquariums in Planet Zoo. Uh, this is a little teaser for all of you guys who are watching this part of the video. But essentially what I have using the free build mod, I have a gate right there. Place the water first and then the gate second. And then you should be able to have like water completely covering an entire habitat. And then all you do is place a jetty bedding on top. And then once you actually do have the animal drop down in there, you simply press X on this. And it'll simply transport everything up there. We're just going to wait for everything to like sink to the, not sink, but float to the top. And then there we go. And then we should just be able to unbox all animals. And there we go. Everything is now in the tank. Uh, now, with that little diversion aside, we don't actually have any catfish in here for once, so that's actually pretty cool to see, but this guy is going to be your classic lake sturgeon. They also have an albino. Uh, I honestly forget what it is. I, for I am so sorry, Buffsu. I completely forgot, but these guys are wicked cool. They're based off of the American alligator, so keep that in mind. They are extremely slow moving, and they're just like this in real life. Sometimes they barely even move at all, which I think fits this rig perfectly. But look at these guys. They have these little tendrils on their nose. They look like they have little mustaches. They're just really badass creatures. And there he goes. He's really putting effort into it now. What else do we have? We have the gaff topsail catfish. These guys are a sporting catfish. You will typically see commercial, not commercial, but hobbyist fishermen go out for these guys. And they're just such really awesome creatures. They're found in salt water, so do keep that in mind. They wouldn't really be in a tank like this unless if it were like kind of like a brackish tank or something like that. But they're just really cool. They have this really awesome top sail, as the name would suggest, and that just gives them so much personality. I love seeing, like, you know, midwater catfish kind of like this because it's really awesome. And they have this little swivel with them that looks so cute. I don't know. I really do like these guys. But probably one of the main stars of the tank in here is the Florida Gar. These guys are so freaking cool. I know so many of you guys love making Everglades habitats and Everglades ecosystems and these guys are no stranger to that whatsoever. These guys are really awesome for those kinds of environments and they have these beautiful spots on them which I think really helps to complement them. Uh, if you guys are interested in getting any of these, I highly recommend you guys check these out. That's a little American professionalism right there, you know, go get the American mods more than anything. But moving on through here, we also have our Arctic tank, okay? These are more like colder water, so do bring your jacket on, alright? Uh, so we're gonna start right over here with the European flounder. Nothing too crazy, guys, alright? We just put a flounder in Planet Zoo. Uh, this is probably the best use of the hippo rig because all these guys honestly do is just sit at the bottom of the water waiting for their prey and then they actually jump up to snatch it. But these guys unfortunately won't do any of that. I've tried. It's impossible to add new animations right now, but they're really cool. So the European flounder is found in like the northern European waters. These guys are really, really cool and they can get really huge. Um, it's just really awesome to get creatures like this in the game that are so morphologically unique that I just think it's so cool to get these guys in here. One of my favorite fun facts about the flounder is that it actually grows like a normal fish for the first part of its life, but over time they just morphologically kind of just push the other eye to the other side of their head and they kind of just like, you know, sit at the bottom of the sand and stuff like that. I just think that's really cool. Moving on through here, we also have the Rainbow Trout. These guys are pretty popular as a hobbyist fish. Um, they're just really freaking cool. So if you guys are hoping to have, like, you know, a northern waters of the United States or Canada, these guys are really great for that. They're also found in Russia as well. So do keep that in mind. These guys are just really, really awesome. They're probably one of my favorite fish species just because of how beautiful they are. 
they have this beautiful pink color going across them, which gives them the name of the rainbow trout because they look like they have so many different colors going on up there. Maybe it's a rainbow for a colorblind person. I don't really know. But moving on through here, we have our first mammal of today. Could you believe that? We actually have the ring seal by Didums. This one is so freaking good, and I'm so happy that Didums was finally able to get their seals out. They made the Bicol seal before, but this one is probably his best one yet. He looks so freaking handsome. Look at him. The texture job on it is really amazing, and they look adorable, which I feel like adds to seals even more. Uh, what else do we have in here? I think that's pretty much it, except for, you know, the whale in the room. This is a northern bottlenose whale imported from Endless Ocean 2, one of my favorite games of all time. These guys are really freaking cool and they get to be massive. They're even bigger than this, so do keep that in mind if you do want them in the game. Uh, they're just really awesome creatures and I'm so happy that we're finally getting more marine mammals in here because they are some of my favorite groups. I know a lot of people would prefer for them to have better animations, but listen, we're doing the best we can with the tools at our disposal and I think it's still really awesome to say, hey, I put a whale in Planet Zoo. What did you do today, you know? But moving on through here, we have two more tanks to actually look at. We have more so the tropical tank this time around. Uh, a loo for some of the guys in here. I do apologize if some of them aren't really tropical species. But listen, we're not working with the most amount of tanks over here. So we're just going to start off right now with what's laying down below. These are the white tip reef sharks. And I know you guys probably know about the black tip reef shark that came out a while ago. Now you guys may be saying, how come this doesn't swim like that one, you know? Well, the white tip reef shark actually likes to stay on the ground, kind of like a nurse shark as well. These guys love to sit on the bottom of the water. We just saw them, I believe we might have just seen them over at um, Mystic Aquarium. If not, then I'm probably dreaming of it. But these guys are really awesome bottom feeders. They just sit at the bottom of the water and it's just really awesome just to have that dynamic kind of like action in your tanks but you know what else is really awesome uh the coelacanth yeah let's just go with that one um this one was ported from animal crossing i believe <laughs> excuse me and these guys are really freaking cool this one specifically is the i believe it's a west indian ocean coelacanth and these guys are so freaking cool. So these guys are also known as the living fossils, as I'm sure all of you guys probably know. You guys know so much more than me. But these guys are really freaking cool. They have these beautiful fins on them. They have such an awesome set of fins, and I feel like that just adds to their personality so much. I don't know, I just really do love coelacanth. So if you do too, you want to be the first aquarium in Planet Zoo to actually house these guys, definitely go give that a try. Moving on through here, we also have the Coral Grouper. I believe it also has the Rock Grouper as a variant for, you know, the albino slot. So definitely go check that out. But the Coral Grouper is a beautiful, beautiful little fish. They have these bright blue spots on them that I think work so well for a creature like this. Oftentimes, groupers really aren't the nicest looking fish. In fact, they can get pretty ugly sometimes. But it's just really awesome to see them have such a beautiful splash of color. What else do we actually have in here? We should probably talk about the other whale in the room. This is a pygmy sperm whale. These guys are found in oceans worldwide, especially more warmer, warmers, warmer, warmers. Yeah, warmer oceans, kind of like reefs and stuff like that. They don't really like to hang out there, but you might be able to find them in there. Uh, they're just really cool. They're just tiny little sperm whales. And I think that's so cute. Uh, what else do we actually have in here? Yeah, we also have the butterfly fish. This one is the black wedge, black wedged butterfly fish. I'm sorry guys, I'm very tired right now as of recording this. I'm doing this probably very too late in the week, but it's totally fine. These guys are perfect for any Indo-Pacific reef tank. And if you guys do want these guys, go check them out on the Nexus. They're probably one of my favorites this week. They just work incredibly well. And last but not least, we have one more aquatic species in here. Uh, do forgive me if I pronounce this incorrectly, but this is the Ophthalmosaurus. I definitely did pronounce that incorrectly, but this was originally made by Hendrix, who is one of the Cobra mod developers over there. 
and yeah, I apologize for the jank right there. Um, we can't really expect this kind of like JWE swimming to actually happen in here. But these guys were ported over by Buff Zoo, and it's just really awesome to get like that dichotomy between everyone all together. So that is just really awesome to have. I'm just very happy to get a lot more prehistoric animals now. It's just really awesome to have these guys in there. But you know what? We have a lot of other awesome terrestrial animals to actually check out. So I do apologize, Bongo, if I do mess up the pronunciation of this guy. Oh, yeah. This is the Cyrus Crane, the Cyrus Crane, I don't really know, but these guys I believe are an Asian species, I'm just gonna double check that right over here my friends, we can also look at the baby at that, oh my gosh the baby has this beautiful beautiful orange texture on there, it's just really awesome to see, but these guys are found wait for it uh Southeast Asia and they're also found in Australia too which is actually really really awesome uh they're just such beautiful beautiful creatures and Bongo always does such an amazing job with his birds that this one I would call this a must-have this week these guys are really freaking cool Moving on through here, where should we end? I say we end over there. So we're gonna start over here. Really quick one right here. This is just the green iguana, both the pied and the hypomelanistic variants of said iguana. Originally made by Pure Winter for the exhibits, we brought them out of the cage. We brought them into the habitats and look at him go. He's so happy to be moving. So the pied one does have this beautiful black and white coloration, which is just really awesome. But I think my favorite one has to be the hypomelanistic. These guys are just a bright yellow and they just look like nice little lads. So if you guys do want some of those kinds of variants in your zoos, if you guys want like a beautiful iguana collection, definitely go check them out. But I believe we should also check out the Plain Zebra Remaster by Narwhaler. Narwhaler went ahead and made the plain zebra even more beautiful, yes. So we kind of skimmed them down a little bit. The original one was kind of fat, but this one looks to be a lot more skinny, and it's just really awesome to see. I don't know, I'm just very impressed with how well people go, and how far people go to get the most realistic mods possible. And look at the baby, he even remastered the baby, it's so freaking cute. Now moving on through here, because I do realize we are going a little bit over time, there's no time limit, but it doesn't really matter. We are going to check out the European Mouflon, I believe, I hope. If I'm wrong, I'll cry. But these guys were recently made by me, they are so fun to make. Okay, I'm just gonna say, this is probably one of my favorite jobs on a animal, except for him, he looks a little buffed up. This guy was so fun to texture, just getting like that patterning right was so fun to do. And it was just so awesome to see these beautiful creatures finally make their home in Planet Zoo. In case if you guys don't know, the Mouflon is a beautiful, beautiful bovine from, not bovine, bovidae from Europe. And these guys are really awesome. They're a very popular hunting animal. No, no, that's about it that I know about them. I know I coded these guys, but they were almost hunted to extinction like the rest of, like, you know, all the other European wildlife. But it's just really awesome to see these guys finally get some more recognition. Look at the little baby. I love that little baby. Uh, that they really do deserve. And they have such an incredible looking rack. Look at these guys. They have these beautiful horns. So definitely go check these guys out. If you're doing like a European zoo, these guys are going to be perfect for you. Now we're going to end it with a gen mod, which is probably the best way to end things. These guys, I honestly forget. I think they're called the Tufted Deer, but they have a more specific name, which I really do love. This is a Michi's Tufted Deer, and these guys are so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. Look at the baby. They have these beautiful white spots on them, and they have these little cute little hats on them. Not really hats, but they have really adorable hairdos. And they also do have fangs on them. Not the females, I believe, but the males definitely do. I believe that's our male right there. He looks like a very handsome lad. And they do have these very interesting, like, patches around the eyes. I don't know what's happening there, but that's very cool. 
Yeah, they just look like handsome little gentlemen. They're found in Asia, obviously the mainland China and stuff like that, as well as a little bit of Myanmar over there. And it's just really awesome to see a lot more Asian species come into fruition, especially with Jen doing this. And she even resized the babies, which is a perk of Axie. Guys, go download this one. I I'm not even gonna like fluff around it. Go download this one specifically. But all that being said, that is pretty much it for our entire showcase today. I know it was a little bit of a longer one. I do apologize, my friends, but I know you guys always do love stopping by every single week for these. It's really awesome to have you guys here. Definitely go check all of these out on Nexus. I will have all the links to them in the description down below. Definitely do let me know your favorites in the comments below. Guys, listen. You're not doing it anymore, okay? I don't see everyone's favorites in the comments. Go post your favorites in the comments, please. I just want to know. But all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And in all seriousness, it's always so great to have you guys here. And I really do support, well, I do appreciate all the support over, like, you know, the whole past year. We just passed 5,555 subscribers. Oh my god! So that was a really fun milestone to achieve. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I just want to thank you for that Hope you guys enjoy all the new fish all the new animals Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye <laughs>